Nice fish, nice, nice fish. That's the big mark. Look at all these fish right here, y'all. What's up, everyone? I'm Brandon, and you're watching John Boat River Cats. Got a really late start this morning, but I was able to get some gizzard shad in the cast net. Oh. Missed this takedown, guys, because he literally didn't even bump it, he just took it down. We are hooked up, fish number one. Of course, this current makes them all feel fun. Fish might have some weight to them. This is on the big gizzard shed head. This does not want to come up. Hopefully it's not a log. There is current moving. I hope a log didn't just grab my line and take off because whatever this is, it is not found out as hook. This current sure does make them fun. Not a bad one. He just let some bubbles out. But not a bad fish, y'all. Really not. Pretty nice, nice male. We've got so much current moving right now he's pretty heavy and i don't necessarily want to rip this hook out of his mouth so i'm trying to be nice and easy with it but that is not a bad fish at all not a bad one at all Got him in the boat. This fish is caught. I gave him my headpiece back. Not a bad one. Male's got a big old wide head on him. All right. Not a bad start. I'll tell you that much. 
<laughs> oh yeah, get them back. We're anchored up at the top of a 30 foot hole. The hole's pretty much right there where my baits are. Um, I've had some success here in the past. Um, the two last big fish I caught were right in this section here. Uh, one was right in front of that rock and one was a little further down. So we're going to see if there's anything else in this hole. We got one out of it. See if anything else wants to bite. Alright guys, we've been in this spot for about 15-20 minutes with no bites since the last one. So we are going to reel in baits and we're going to move downstream. Uh, I've got a couple more holes I'm going to try. And uh, see if we get any more. Alright, so we tried anchoring for a little while. I uh, went to about three or four different holes. Uh, we got one fish out of one of the holes. So now we are suspended drifting through a 25 foot hole. Uh, it stretches on back a little ways. And uh, see if anything in here wants to bite. I think they might want it moving today. Well, that's two bites since we started suspending. One literally hit that rod and then hit this rod. There he is. Nice fish, nice, nice fish. That's the big mark. Look at all these fish right here, y'all. Look at all them fish. Five feet. You guys, I'm getting hit over here. Oh man, he pulled hard. He didn't hook up though. Fish number two. Hey, hey. He's a hard puller. He's pulling me down, Strange. Let's try to slow this drift down some so I'm not missing these other fish. It's a nice one, y'all. Real nice. That one close to 15, 15 to 18 pounds. And there's some fish through there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move back up there and I'm going to drift back through. There was a lot of fish down there. School of them. It's pretty wide. This might be 20. A wide head on it. A wide body. Still got my head piece. He tried to swallow that bait, y'all. He is hooked way on back in the mouth. I mean, he tried to swallow it. I know you got a, a big mouth and some big teeth, but that don't mean you got to bite. No, does not mean you got to bite, my friend. Well, he did have my headpiece in his mouth. I guess he decided to spit that out somewhere. I don't think it's in the boat. Oh yeah. Another one about 18 pounds. 15 to 18. 
Nice blue cat. He's doing some vibrating down there. Got leeches all over his little barbells there. <laughs> He's a mean one too. He wanted to bite like crazy. Look at that dark stripe on the top of his head there. All right. Let's get him back. Move back through that hole. There's some fish in that hole. I want y'all to look at that, guys. That fish took a crap in my boat. <laughs> All right. Let's bait back up. I'm getting a bite over here now. I was about to say, let's bait back up and move back across that hole. Let me get this bait hooked on this hook. Situated and ready to drop. And I'm gonna move back up through that hole. All right. We come back through and pretty much in the same spot we hooked up again. Also, that fish got in that line right there. Oh, he is all around. Without getting stabbed with a hook or spine. All right, we'll get this untangled and we'll be right back. Fat female, she is very ornery. Does not want to cooperate. I got a mess to uh, untangle, but another nice blue for today. Let's get it back. Went back through that hole, saw the same school of fish. Anytime you're marking fish, you don't want to leave fish to find fish. And I was marking some, so. As soon as I saw them pop up on the graph, I said, there they are. And next thing you know, I was getting a bite. So always trust your, uh, trust your technology. Trust your sonar. Now it's not a very big one, but it's a fish. He's not very cooperative either, but it's a fish. These fish today are very aggressive. I'll tell you that. Another blue female. She's already dropped her eggs. Alrighty. Got all those bad scars up there, those different colors. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Beautiful fish on a beautiful day. I mean, gorgeous. Low humidity, 80s. Can't beat it. So, all I'm doing, guys, there's a 25 foot hole up there in front of me. I'm drifting from up there, I'm drifting down until I stop seeing fish. Now I'm seeing marks down here, 
but at some point this this river gets nothing but smooth it gets smooth the further back you go so what i've been doing is i've been drifting through and i go back up and i drift right back through and i go back up and i drift right back through until i stop seeing fish that's what i'm gonna do but yeah guys that's 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 what you do man you, you see fish you mark fish you catch a fish through there you go back through that same spot you'll catch another one see what i mean i just moved back up right back through the same hole And we're catching some fishing. Come here. Come here, fishy. How you doing there, fishy? You having a good day? Because I'm having a good day. Come on now. She got a tiny, tiny little mouth. These females. If you're ever wondering, you see how tiny that mouth is? I can probably fit. Three, four, about four fingers in there. Calm down. And uh, if you look at the rest of the body, that big old fat belly right there, that's because she's full of eggs. But if you ever catch fish like this, and you're wondering what sex it is, just look at the size of that mouth right there. It'll tell you everything. That's a fat little female. She's got a wart right there. Pretty fish, you got a ward on the other side too. All right, let's get her back. Water temp has shot up to 64 degrees. They're still generating current. But uh, water temp is rising. I'm guessing within the next week or two, that water temp will be up to 70 and the fish on the upper part of this river are going to be spawning uh, they're not quite spawning up here yet i'm sure that the fish down on the bottom end of the lake are spawning because the water down there is much warmer i'm sure it's in the 70s close to 75 um but up here man it's still it's still nice and cool so these fish on this side of the, the lake uh, the east i'm sorry the west side of the lake have not started to spawn yet we just got to tug on that rod yeah well then didn't, didn't take it you want it I pretty much missed the opportunity on that fish. When you start drifting down and you go past fish and they hit it and they let it go, um, sometimes they come back, sometimes they don't. Hey, another John Boater. He don't care. He's not fishing. He just got an eight-footer. A little eight-foot John Boat chilling. So they had some pretty good current moving first thing this morning. So uh, first thing I tried was, uh, you know, anchoring up, casting out the back. I went up to a creek called Allen Creek. Uh, that was the first spot I tried. No luck, so I moved a little further down. I got a nibble on uh, one of the big shad head pieces I had. And uh, nothing took, so I moved on down to my next spot and finally hooked into one so then i tried a couple more holes and i uh, wasn't getting any luck so i said you know what i'm gonna suspend like i did last time and see if uh see if they're biting that to be sure put some baits down and it wasn't much longer we were getting some bites there's a 25 foot hole over there i was marking fish in so i just kept moving through that hole and I'd catch a fish, I'd move down to where I wasn't getting any bites, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna move up, move back around and move back through that school of fish. 
So I just kept repeating that. And uh, pretty much just about every time I moved through that school, I was catching, catching a fish. So anytime you're marking fish, even if you don't catch a fish on the first drift, if you mark a big school of fish, pull your baits back up, fire up your motor, and move back upstream from them and, and drift back down across them, you might get a bite. So I hope that shows you the difference between fresh bait and frozen bait. It really makes a big difference. Now given frozen bait can produce fish when it's frozen correctly. I did not freeze that fish correctly. So if you like the content, don't forget to slam that like button. Share the video with your friends and family. Cast a comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Catch you on the next one.